This is Tracy Zhang for EDU 508, Contemporary Issues in Technology through Waynesburg University. This presentation is about MIT OpenCourseWare. MIT OpenCourseWare, or OCW, involves free access to all of MIT courses via their OpenCourseWare website and YouTube videos. This was a very exciting topic because it embodies Bonk's philosophy of the world is open. In a very real way, MIT opened learning at a premier university level to the entire world, at least the world with unrestricted internet access. MIT has just about reached its goal set in 2000 to post all of its courses online. All courses have the syllabus, notes, quizzes, and exams posted. They are still working on making each course available in video format. As I mentioned, in the year 2000, MIT made the decision to put all of its courses online for free. They felt that this would be the ideal representation of the core value of service to the community. In this case, the community is the world. This OCW initiation by MIT sparked a global movement for Open Educational Resources, or OER, in 2001. By the year 2002, MIT was able to launch its OpenCourseWare online. Now, the MIT OCW organization has incorporated into an independent entity a nonprofit organization called the OpenCourseWare Consortium. At present, this involves a community of over 250 universities and other organizations throughout the world. Their goal is to advance the OpenCourseWare sharing concept and positively impact education worldwide. All courses are marked with the Creative Commons copyright license, with the main restriction being that no one can sell this courseware. According to the MIT OpenCourseWare website, MIT currently has over 125 million visitors from over 220 countries. They have posted over 1,000 course videos and made course materials available from 2,150 courses, available free online. Over 90% of the MIT faculty and hundreds of members volunteer to put these courses online. MIT sees the value of their OCW initiative in terms of information and teaching structure sharing. There are over 100 mirror sites in low bandwidth areas, translations into several languages already completed, and more translations in the works. Bonk's philosophy that everyone learns and the world is open is truly expressed here in a very exciting way. OpenCourseWare is intended for use by educators, students currently in school, and all who desire to learn throughout life. We all learn. Faculty and educators can use the courses as reference in teaching their courses. It truly does allow teachers to get inside the course and see how other professors and educators are organizing and teaching their classes. This quote from Rogelia Morales, a Venezuelan metallurgical engineer and PhD candidate, demonstrates that students from high school, college, graduate students, and even gifted students at earlier levels can use MIT OCW. There are students from all over the world who are using the MIT OCW. One bit that I read on the MIT OCW website was that in Africa, where some areas do not have the internet bandwidth to permit use in real time, there are people who drive into the more populated areas where there is good internet access, download all of the courseware for a particular course, and burn it to DVDs. Then they drive it back to their school. MIT OpenCourseWare can also be used by gifted students as an independent study with a facilitator teacher appointed by the school to provide guidance and assessments. 
This is how it was used for Jamie Tucker Foltz, a high school sophomore from Colorado who had completed all of the math courses available in his entire school district at this point in his life. My recommendations for the use of the MIT courseware is one could use it in a flipped classroom or blended learning situation. It could be used for personalized learning and also for gifted and independent study. It could be used as an AP class. It could be used for materials and science competitions. It can provide extra resources and support for struggling students. All in all, it's a great resource for educators and students as well. The pros of the MIT OpenCourseWare include access to quality information at the MIT level. It's freely available and easily accessible to most. The reputation of MIT for quality will make it more acceptable to administrators. Online textbooks, exams, and resources are also available. There are a few cons, however. In order to use MIT OpenCourseWare, you must have the computer technology to download and access all the videos and course materials. Students are also unable to build a relationship with instructors or each other. There is no credit given and no options available to obtain credit. Teachers must add their own constructivist pedagogy to the Orphan Courseware resources. MIT's dream that this will truly become a broad-based movement that will impact knowledge and information worldwide is truly happening. Bonk's idea that the world is open has come true. Now let's take a look at this video of Walter Lewin, Professor Emeritus at MIT. One of the most remarkable things I just mentioned to you is that the period of the oscillations is independent of the mass of the object. That would mean if I join the bob and I swing down with the bob, that you should get that same period. Or should you not? I'm asking you a question before we do this awful experiment. You count. Wow, my expectations are high. I want to hear you loud. You ready for this? Yeah. Three, two, one. And here is the femur of an elephant. So I need a volume here. One, two, relax. What is it? As you can see, Walter Lewin personifies an involved classroom. He helps his students learn by presenting a very engaging, interesting performance. It is important to remember that we are not offering an MIT education through OpenCourseWare, is a comment by Shigera Miyagawa, who is an MIT administrator. He says that a true MIT education is one where students come on campus, they live here, and they learn with fellow students and faculty. I think we all know that the relationships that students make with each other and with their instructor is as important as their relationship with their content. The end.